many of my patients have eczema or even sensitive skin. Cleansers, it actually makes things worse. So that's when dryness, itchiness and all those um, discomfort come in and you have flare up. So what is oleic acid, right? It's actually healthy fats. I think within seconds, it's totally absorbed. Like you don't feel it being oily anymore. Actually studies show that argan oil actually can Welcome to Talk Health Asia. Today we talk about something that every woman cares about, our skin. Now if you've lived with sensitive or troubled skin, you know that when you go out and search for products, it's not about trend. It's about something that doesn't hurt your skin or actually helps it heal. What if we told you that right now you have a product that uses natural ingredients that can heal that? Today we're not joined by one, we're joined by three very, very expert ladies they're all smiling because they're ready to share with you how this natural ingredient product can help you heal and leave that door confidently. And it's backed by science, by the way. So I'm pretty sure everybody's wondering, right? Olive oil is something we all know from our kitchen also. So, but um, <clears throat> how is uh, cooking oil beneficial when it comes to, you know? Our skincare. Yeah. So as a doctor, mm -hmm. I see skin conditions very, very often. Many of my patients have uh, eczema or even um, sensitive skin or even like psoriasis patients. So it tells me that cleansers, it actually makes things worse. Some of them are using harsh soaps and it actually tears off their natural oils. When you have many high-end uh, ingredients come in, added into your products, usually you have a lot of um, irritations on your skin. Mm -hmm. So when the natural skin barrier is weakened, so that's when dryness, itchiness, and all those um, discomfort come in and you have flare-ups. Using an olive oil cleanser with a laurel berry oil, of course, it can be a game changer. Okay, it cleans gently while nourishing and calming the skin, helping it stay balanced for a long time and reduce flare-ups. Olive oil that we use is not the one that you use in your cooking. <laughs> so please don't use olive oil and bay leaves. And... No, no. It's another process that we have to undergo. Mm -hmm. So olive oil uh, naturally has two key benefits. Uh, the first one is oleic acid. Mm -hmm. So what is oleic acid, right? It's actually healthy fats. And these are good fats that you can find in avocado, mm -hmm. as an example, right? And this oleic acid helps to deeply moisturize and keep skin soft. And the second benefit is actually polyphenols that is naturally present in olive oil. And polyphenols is similar to antioxidants in green tea mm -hmm. uh, that help calm the skin. So when you pair that with laurel berry oil, you get the benefits of uh, deep nourishment and uh, skin soothing uh, to support dry sensitive skin. Mm, speaking of dry sensitive skin, we're going to talk to Petrina now, who actually has psoriasis, right? On a good day for uh, someone who suffers from can you see suffer from who has psoriasis? What is a good day like for you? A good skin day? Uh, very calm skin, less mm. flakes, and really able to carry on the busy day without any concern or discomfort, like yeah. tightness on skin. Because it, it does affect your confidence, doesn't it? You know, when, when you have flaky skin and all that. How did it feel for you? Mm. I think within the first week, the first thing I noticed is the skin gets uh, smoother, like the Thickness level, first layer has gone off mm -hmm. and then slowly as I continue on the routine, the skin is like less red, mm -hmm. calm, mm -hmm. quite, uh, quite good actually for the self-confidence, yeah. You know, we move on to the second step now because argan oil is well known for hair, right? So, but on skin, doesn't it like clog up the pores and things like that? Did it do that for you, uh, Petrina? First started with the argan oil. It's like, oil uh, should be oily, right? Mm. But surprisingly, it's a bit thick. And once I applied, I think within seconds, it totally absorbed. Mm. Like you don't feel it being oily anymore. So yeah. Yeah, yeah because uh, I used argan oil when I was pregnant, actually, on, on a completely different subject. And it was very, very thick on the belly because we were using it to prevent stretch marks. And I didn't have any stretch marks after that. Mm -hmm. So, doctor, what is your take? Can can iron oil really support and uh, you know with the skin condition? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Argan oil is actually rich in vitamin E, mm -hmm. fatty acids, and antioxidants. And basically, it's all what our skin barrier needs. As for what Petrina shared just now, uh, the argan oil is lightweight and absorbs very quickly. Yeah. So, for people with sensitive skin, they actually really 
just need some very natural and easily absorbed products mm -hmm. to improve their skin conditions. So we know now like argan oil is not just for pregnant ladies, although it's very good for that, you know. I have no stretch marks, not just for hair. It can be used on the skin as well. Yes, eczema, psoriasis. Oh, I forgot to ask about normal skin. How about normal skin? People like me, would it be too rich for me, doctor? No, actually, argan oil is like a very natural mm -hmm. um, moisturizer, like we say. Mm -hmm. So it can um, build up our skin barrier. Mm -hmm. So when you have a good skin barrier, it will actually reduce the flare-ups. And another thing is, actually studies show that argan oil actually can soothe inflammation. So Ooh. let's say if you have flare-ups and like eczema flare-ups, you have an inflammation, it's not just a replenish the hydration, mm -hmm. it can also soothe inflammation like all the redness that you see. Yeah. So it's not just for a face either, because you know, it, the, the, the oil can be used for my, my elbows, for yeah. whatever dry skin. I have psoriasis yeah. all around, yeah. so yeah. it's like a total, total bottle. bottle. You really need a very large bottle. I know, right? <laughs> they should do like super jumbo size. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. That's our next match. What other improvements have you seen, Petrina? Uh, because psoriasis is autoimmune, right? I really mm -hmm. don't know what triggers it on good days, bad days. Mm -hmm. But generally, when I'm diligent on the routine, then the skin is just like calm, la, you know, less flaky, I don't have spots everywhere, I don't have to wear dark colored, avoid dark colored clothing. Oh yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like dandruff. Snowing, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like snowing. My husband has that problem. So isn't it really interesting to find out what natural things can actually help your skin, especially troubled skin, get healthier? In our next segment, we learn about what causes desensitive skin and what kind of tests help and how they work. So see you then. Mm -hmm.